Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to tell you as much as I can about Ruby. And so the first topic that we're going to talk about is variables. In Ruby to create a variable all you have to do is just type your variable name. We'll say hello and we will say is equal to and then we're going to say hello. So here we're creating a variable called hello and it has a string of hello. You can also just change this to a number. So we could say hello is equal to 3. Let's say I create another variable and I say by and I say by is equal to by. And if I want to concatenate these, all I have to do is just say new variable, new variable is equal to by plus hello. And then I can just do puts new variable. And this just outputs new variable to the terminal. So if I run this code by running the command ruby hello.rb, as you can see, it says by hello. But let's say I change one of these to a number. So let's say three. So I'll change by to three. And I'll change it to, uh, we'll just say number. So hello and number. I can't concatenate these the same way. I'll just try and I'll show you. But we're going to get an error. As you can see down here, we're getting an error in the terminal here, right here. And so to actually make this work, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to change the number variable, which is this one, to first of all, we're going to have to change it to number. And then we're also going to have to change it to dot to underscore s. This is going to change it to a string type. Do the same thing but i have to do it here so dot two underscore s or sorry number number dot two s so now we're adding the number and hello and we're changing the number type to a string right now it's an integer before running this code so now if i try and run this file i should be seeing three hello and as you can see right here i'm seeing three hello so that's a little bit about variables in ruby and also we have this type of variable this means an instance variable it begins with an at, so at server is equal to server, let's say something like that. This means an instance variable, and it can be used all throughout the method. We also have another type of variable, and it's called global variable, and it starts with a dollar sign. So this one, global, is equal to global. This one can be used all throughout the class. This one, an, an instance variable with an at, can be used all throughout the action. So that's variables in Ruby. Alright, so now we're going to talk about conditionals. Conditionals control the flow of your code. And we're going to talk about a simple conditional called the if statement. So in Ruby, we can do, we can compare two variables. So we can say, if hello is equal to number, and then we can say end. So if hello is equal to number, then this code will run inside of here. But obviously it's not. So let's make sure that number is actually the same so that we can use this. I'm going to get rid of this so that our code will run. And I'll also get rid of this. And I'll make this puts. Oh my god. Alright, so if hello is equal to number, we're going to put this inside here. We're going to put puts, oh my god. Oh my god. And we're just going to put it as a string. So if hello is equal to number, let's try and run this. And as you can see, we're actually printing oh my god because hello is equal to number. Also, there's another one, and that's called else if. And else if essentially just lets you do another if statement inside of this if statement. And it's good because instead of just saying else, it actually lets you add another condition. So if hello is not equal to number in this case. So we have to say puts nope. So then we'll just change number. And we should actually be printing this inside of this else if statement. So let's try that now. And as you can see, now we're printing nope. In this case, we could also just use else and it would be better because it's simpler. But else if is pretty useful in other cases we could also just do something like if hello is equal to hello and then else if hello is equal to hello and we'll change this to not equal to then so basically we're saying if this variable is equal to the text of hello then puts oh my god puts just means print to the output and then else if hello if the hello variable is not equal to hello string then puts nope so this is just another way of what we we're doing so i'll run this code and as you can see we're putting oh my god because it's equal hello is equal to hello now let's talk about loops all right so now we're going to talk about arrays and arrays are a way to have multiple variables inside of one variable and we call it an array so to create an array in ruby what we're going to say is array is equal to array dot new so that's pretty simple and then we have square brackets and we're going to say hello goodbye and so our array has two items hello and goodbye and so now what we can do is we can say array 
dot each do word end and what this does is it says for each of the items in the array let's use a variable and let's call them word so to focus on this more i'm going to say puts word puts word i could change this word variable you might be asking where did it come from i can change it to whatever i'll just change it to whatever and down here i can change it to whatever it doesn't really make sense but for the purpose of this tutorial it just that's what i'm doing and so now if i run this code let's see what happens and we're getting an error because we actually need to get rid of this new because this isn't going to work with strings so we have to change this and then now if we run the code we should actually be seeing hello goodbye and oh my god from the earlier code so that's loops and if statements and else if in ruby so far we have covered variables and conditional logic so that's pretty good all right so now to end the video because i just want to keep this nice and short i want to do something on functions and in ruby we call these actions we can also call them methods and so to create a new method what we have to do is we have to say def initialize and this is just the name of the method we can call this whatever we want whatever we want and then we can say end and as you can see we have to have def and end and anything in here this is what you have inside of your method so i can say puts whatever and if we run this nothing's going to happen because we have to actually call this method so in order to call this method we have to say initialize now if we run this code the method should actually be being called and as you can see we're printing whatever to the screen and then we can incorporate the variables incorporate the conditional logic and it actually can become quite cool so yeah that's the whole video nice and short i hope you learned something thank you for watching if you like this video then subscribe i also like to let you know that i have a mentorship program based on ruby on rails if that does sound interesting to you make sure to click the link in the description it's on patreon again thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one